Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are on to episode 29, making this our, well, maybe longest running series, but a series at the moment with the longest episodes. We're finally beating out Plan B Terraform, and uh, look at us go. I know at one point in time, I said we were going to focus on digging up in the 29th episode, but maybe that's an episode 30 problem, because today... We are focusing on cooling. We have had a very, very good run thus far using the anti-entropy uh, thermo nullifier. It has been very successful at snagging up our hydrogen. And, you know, it's, it's largely kept the base cool. It's largely kept things in check. But uh, we need a little bit more. So, we need something to help combat all of the the new heat that we're throwing into the base here you know there's heat associated with some of these things there's heat associated with you know all of this it's just we're close we're close to getting out of hand so what we're going to do courtesy of echo ridge gaming and uh his his tutorial we are going to build a steam turbine system in here with a uh, thermal aqua tuner and let me just make sure yes I can flip it backwards because he's got a particular system set up and I'm just considering flipping it the other way so there is a <laughs> particular way about this um, I've got a few pictures here from what he put together and we're gonna be trying to do a similar thing we're gonna put it I was thinking about putting it right here but I think I'm gonna put it right here um, just because this way I can face it the, the pretty well same way we'll probably actually do it in this area here um, but we need to pick our liquid to use as our coolant so we're not at the stage of, of super coolant there is water which freezes at minus six, which could be fine, but I think it'd like to go a little bit cooler. Polluted water, here we go. Where do you freeze? You freeze at minus 20. So we could continue to use polluted water as we have been doing for a long time. We could use crude oil. That is also an option. Where are you crude oil? There you go. Minus 40. So. Not a huge difference between minus 20 and minus 40. Or we could use petroleum, um, which is uh, minus 57. So petroleum is what I was planning on using, but, um, you know, oh, yeah, actually, we can use petroleum. There we go. I was going to say we don't have very much, but uh, I see that we've, we've established a supply. So we're going to use petroleum. It's going to be fine. Everything will be okay. And uh, we're going to use that as our, our, our coolant for the time being. Now, let's put this together. In theory, I think I've got everything that I need metal-wise. I could be mistaken, though. Where is my utilities? There we go. Um, oh, the fact that this uses 1,200 is a little aggressive. So let's just have this crack out a little bit more steel. We don't need a whole lot of steel because some of the stuff should be okay, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, this whole space is pretty good. Pretty happy with this. Um, let's get the first step done for the system. So I just need to kind of build out the, the space requirement. We're going to use insulated tiles. So uh, we're just going to use standard... Um, Igneous rock, I think. We'll just stick with that. And I think what I'll do is build it... I don't really want the salt water and water mixing. So I should be able to just build it here. Let's go with uh, one, two, three, four. And I think we really actually only need three at the moment. So we're just going to stick with this. Okay, there. so this is the, this is the beginning of the situation here. So... He had it set up in a particular way where he had a little pump over here to get some initial liquid in there. 
um, and a kind of a system over here where he was freezing. So, like, this is where the the uh, thermal aqua tuner is. And he had it cooling stuff right over here, like uh, uh, ice, freezing ice. And then using the ice, he would have a, it was metal, followed by a door. And once it got cold enough, once it froze, um, the door would close, the automated door would close, transfer the heat, transfer the cooling from this, 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 over into the room that needed the cooling. I'm not going to do that. Um, it, it makes sense. Don't get me wrong. I understand what's happening there. But what I'm going to do is use the same tried and true method that I have been doing for a little while now. Um, which is just this sort of cooling loop that I had going on. Um, except we're going to replace it with the petroleum route. And uh, it'll just solve some issues. And also give us more polluted water. I really don't know what the deal is with all of the polluted water that is uh, in here. But I'm not happy about it. I, I don't... I'm actually quite surprised that we've lost as much polluted water as we have. And part of me has even considered dumping this polluted water in here. Because I just simply don't understand what went so wrong with the, uh, with the cooling loop. So, anyway... This is my scheme, this is my plan. There will be a lot of rewiring happening, but uh, I think we got this. I think we got this, I think we'll be okay. And uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do the business that needs to be done. Now, part of me is considering flipping the system. That he, he had a particular system set up, and it wasn't a bad system. It's just kind of set for the cooling to go on this side. But I would likely want the cooling to be on this side, just because it is what would make the most sense for me. Um, not, not quite sure if I'm fully set on that yet. I'm still thinking about it. It's still a consideration. Because it might be, <laughs> you know, mirroring something is always, always a pain. You know, trying to get it to, to function the way that you want it to function. Um, his, his system is also, you know, very, very efficient, very well thought out. I might add some tweaking to it for my own personal thoughts um but yeah let's actually flip it because i'm silly like that and uh there's no there's no harm in flipping it right you're made out of gold absolutely not you will not be made out of gold i refuse um plumbing do 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 do, do. we're utilities it keeps it keeps hiding on me you know gonna be out of this we're gonna flip it so his was going out to the right ours is gonna go out to the left so very simple flip uh, and then we need to install I mean there's all the piping that needs to be installed but something else that kind of needs to be installed pretty early on is the liquid vent out I don't know if this needs to be made out of steel um, I'm gonna make it out of steel just so it's easier just so we're you know in a good place the um the insulated liquid pipes that we use allegedly don't need to be made out of anything fancy so we're gonna stick to to this now i'm going to put this over here can i actually just while we're on the steam turbine here the steam turbine can be flipped around it makes sense i think for me to flip the steam turbine in every sense, right? How do you... Where's your little... I don't... It's supposed to have a liquid out. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm assuming. I think I'm good. So I'm just going to put this on a 7 so they do all of this. But there are some important things to note. We need uh, to move this. Actually, I'm very pleased that the heavy wire has gone so far. We need more heavy wire to continue to come down this way. We're actually going to have to use iron because we're out of that resource there. And um, continue down. We'll just actually move it over one and down, 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 down. This will be a little bit of an issue because I believe his was set up with um, just standard conductive wiring here. And I will use steel for that. So it's unfortunate that I'm going to have to transform that over 
but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Um, in the meantime, I do need the heavy wall wire to go down a little bit more, or at least maybe I just actually, you know what we're going to have to do, unfortunately, is just set up a power transformer down here, which is not ideal, but it's going, yeah, I'm going to need one just because what happens here, what's about to happen is I'm going to have to hook all of this up. So let's just put one in. Again, he didn't do this. His stuff was set up a little bit better. Um, and definitely check check it out if you haven't watched it so you can see what I'm doing and where my thoughts are coming from. Um, pretty, pretty simple changes, I think, uh, that I'm doing. But I might, uh, I might break something, you know? The game is, it's very easy to break stuff. So... <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully we don't, but you never know. It's always a, it's always a treat playing the game and, uh, and breaking things. It's not, uh, it's not uncommon. So, for the regular stuff, what I think I'll do is, oh, I was using tungsten for that. I'll just use tungsten the whole way because apparently I don't have... Thermally reactive. I should probably actually not use tungsten. I should probably just use iron. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that I used all of the iron in this. Yeah, that 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 checks out. That checks out. What we're gonna do? We'll make a little bit more iron. Um, a fair amount of iron needed. Let's just make 20 units, and hopefully, this kind of behaves. It was behaving a little bit. I don't know why sometimes it it, it does work sometimes it doesn't but anyway enough enough of my, my ranting so here's the other thing we gotta we, there's a little bit more that needs to be done here so you see this this process is happening okay great 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 we need, we need water so we need to fill this up pretty much with with liquid to a point to an extent right so we'll do that we're gonna use we'll use uh, insulated pipe just because might as well and I'm gonna bring it up into here now again the system will change a little bit but we do need to get some water pumped into here which also means I need to get some conductive wire moving down here which again is fine not ideal but it is what it is at the end of the day this is kind of what has to happen so I'm okay with it it is not a terrible situation that we're putting ourselves in. I think we're, you know, I'll say the word behaving. That's what I'll, that's what I'll say. Um, behaving relatively well so far. So we're going to actually just get them to build this to, uh, yeah, we'll get them to build that. And we'll get them to build that quick. So we'll go into super fast forward mode. Once they've got it done, we'll, we'll come back and kind of display what's, what's going on. All right, so they're behaving, they're doing their thing, and, and, and stuff has mostly been getting done. Okay, so we're kind of at the ending bit of the first part, and I'm realizing, just by looking at this, this is not enough. Whoopsies. I meant to put in one of these bad boys. Large size, the value of defense wires from drawing more than 4K. Big whoops. Yeah, I don't know why I don't just do one of those. Oh, that's probably why. Okay. Whoopsies, let's solve our problem before we do it. And I also moved this over one just because, uh, yes, I could put in this this fire pole because the fire pole is uh, it's going to be helpful. It's going to be very useful. All right, let's also see if there's a blueprint. Salt water, sure, I guess. Uh, 43 calories, 43,000 calories. I'm getting a little concerned about that. The polluted water is not actually used for anything, right? Okay, good. Just had to make sure before I uh, I worried about the actual full depletion of that. But we'll get polluted water in other places. There's a lot of polluted water over here. And actually, that could just be mopped up. A lot of it could be mopped up very easily. That would solve some issues. Yeah, that's going to... Wow, I still can't believe that this happened in here. And it's really upsetting. Anyway, back to my shenanigans. So, first step is, is is pretty well done. I would like them to deconstruct that at a 9. 
and uh, they'll kind of build that out too, which will be great. So what this is going to do, this pump down here, we're going to, while they're kind of constructing everything else, we're going to be filling this up with, with uh, some water. Now this water is going to be the stuff that turns into steam, which will be, you know, fantastic for us, uh, our steam turbine. Now, looking at the piping system, you see kind of we got some stuff set up. The N will take in, this will be where we get the hot stuff. It's going to come in and we're going to throw it if, if, um, because we're going to put in a little automation sensor here to turn this on and off. And when it's off, it'll end up just bypassing the system. Basically, it's to stop things from freezing the system. So it's going to sense what's in the pipe that will be here and make sure that the system doesn't freeze. That is the biggest kind of point of all of this is to make sure we're not freezing the system, breaking the pipes and, uh, ultimately screwing ourselves over but uh, that is the that is a general idea so otherwise it would be going through here this removes 14 degrees from whatever um, you put in it and so we're probably gonna start small with a small loop I haven't quite figured out the whole how to get it over here situation we'll get there when the time comes this needs some electricity what's exactly is the situation fair enough uh, let's put in a large power transformer I yeah it's unfortunate but it is what it is uh, not out of gold uh, yeah I guess out of iron not ideal again we're using a little bit more iron than I like but if it's gonna happen it's gotta happen we'll put that on a nine so they build it up uh, I will also get them to build another insulated tile here because originally it was going to and then I decided I didn't need it. Now, I would like it. Okay, cool. Gonna cross that out because it's not needed. Good, and then we will make this all an 8 as well so they take care of that. Okay, the other thing is, so this pipe here, this one here that we're talking about, it's not going to stay here. This is just kind of a temporary thing for this pump, so it pumps liquid up. This will work to cool the steam turbine to make sure it doesn't overheat. I think what I'll do is I'll have this kind of come out first. And this, again, this pipe isn't going to be here. I'll have it come out first, go through this first to make sure it stays cool, and then have it continue on to do its, its loop there. The in will actually, I think, come through this way and then around here just to make sure we're, you know, being careful. And it is also going to be an insulated pipe, and I think I'll just do that now. So I'll hook it up now, so we're good. And then we'll talk about the thermo uh, pipe sensor. So if I look at the the drawing, not the drawing, the screenshots I took, uh, this belongs right in here. We're going to build this out of steel to ensure that it doesn't overheat. Uh, it should also be fine, but again. I'm just being very careful and being overly careful with it. Does this need power? I'm assuming so, but it's not indicating that it that it takes up electricity. All right, I'll just pretend that it doesn't for a minute. And the automation wire is also going to just be built out of steel again. It's just to make sure that we're, you know, being safe with it, not being silly. So there we go. We'll have that all built out. And now we need to be kind of careful. I mean, I guess it doesn't actually matter if it overflows, but we're trying to preserve liquid. Um, the one thing about Echo Ridge Gaming, not a complaint, by the way, not a complaint. Uh, he's, he's very, very precise to ensure that if you're trying not to use all of your resources, then, you know, he explains kind of the best way to do that. So for instance, he filled this up with polluted water and then put some water on top and then closed it off. I don't, I'm, I'm not super hard done by for water. I mean, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> that's actually really bad. This is the lowest water we've had in a long time. But um, I'm not super hard done by water in theory. We've got these two, uh, you know, cool vents, uh, cool steam vents that I can use. We just need to set up proper cooling first. So, you know, we're, we're somewhat okay. I will actually check though since you know i looked at that and it's a little bit questionable i could send this water over but what i'll do because this is already set up is we're gonna just 
put in the piping here that's needed. There you go. Cancel whatever was there. That should, again, kill all the germs, I think. There should be no germs in here, I don't think. Oh, it doesn't say anything about germs. So we're going to assume that it's okay. We'll let it kind of transfer over and then we will kind of convert it. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But anyway, back to this. So good, that'll fill up. It's gonna fill up quite quickly. Now this needs to be set up for green signal if above. And I think I'm gonna do f minus 40, minus, let's do minus 35. Um, you did not save. <laughs> Minus 35, please. 35, you're gonna... There you go, minus 35, okay. So the temperature of the crude oil, if it is... So if the temperature is above uh, minus 35, then we will get a green signal, and the green signal will be uh, allowing the liquid to travel through. So, good, 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 good. I am pleased, although it did stress me out a little bit. Now, uh, we are going to be using some insulated pipes. I know insulated pipes are a little bit more expensive, but again, uh, to Echo Ridge Gaming's credit, it does a very good job making sure people can be um, as conservative with their, um, their resource usage as possible. I, however, don't care as much because I think that I am invincible and ultimately I will win. So anyway... <laughs> Uh, I'm a silly, silly man. Don't worry, I'll regret this. I'll, I'll regret this later. I'm, I'm quite sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just set ourselves up for the crude oil and the cooling, cooling pipe. So this one's gonna be the in, in. This one's gonna be the, the out. And what I'm gonna do at the start is we will bring in crude oil, and I believe if I bring it back, that's not high enough. So we need to go one more up. Okay, please don't fool with me like this. Bring it in over like this, and then so this one can can come in like this. Really janky system, really janky. Um, but thankfully they're actually not crossing each other, so I'm quite pleased with that. I was actually looking at it, and I thought I was definitely screwed and was gonna have to do like a bunch of jumping. But yeah, this actually works. Uh, I think, right? Yeah, no, this works totally fine. Look at me go. I'm actually quite pleased with myself. <laughs> anyway, so part of the process, of course, is is cooling somewhere. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll start with a very simple cooling loop, probably right down the center of these, just to see how it goes. And we will use, uh, yeah, we can use iron the radiant pipe. I don't want to, but I will. Anyway, my complaints, my complaints. Okay, so let's put that up there. Good, 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 good. I think, I think this is actually coming along quite well. Um, I've got the internal set up. Oh, now it's time to, uh, now it's time to cut this off. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to cut it off from the electricity just because that way all of the water will get out of these pipes. So when I deconstruct, it's not gonna be a problem. Uh, so this was, you know, a little bit more water than I than I needed, I believe, but that's okay. So once I close this off, um, we're gonna be golden here. I'm just gonna snip here and snip here, and then we'll be able to attach that together. And then um, all of this can go bye-bye. Except maybe that one, that one, that one can stay. Um, so that's my plan so far. Let's put the priority up here. Get them to dig all of that up. Make them go zoom. They're really tweaking for it. That's what I like to see. Good little dupes. We'll put this all on an eight as well. Make sure those are next to be taken care of. These things, I will return to a five because I am no fool. All right, good. And then how are we over here? Okay, so I think I think we're good now. 
let's put in the little pipe here that we wanted to put in. Of course, cancel that. So that's going to clean it out. So I'm also going to kill one of these. Kill that one and then kill that one. Good. Now that will be able to come into the home after. All right. Ooh. Well, once that starts overflowing, then I'll, uh, I will dictate a pumpage somewhere. I suppose it could be pumped all the way in there. There is no line to do that, though. I suppose the line will have to be created. Hmm. Not something I particularly want to do. But I guess it's something that may have to be done. So, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to continue on with, you know, the main thing that we're doing, which is the good, good work of cooling. And I am robustly pleased. Those will be the words that I use. Robustly pleased, folks. We're going to just zoom along. And while they zoom along, doing their thing, we're going to go in here. I think they're still going to be doing stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm just kind of, I don't know. I have no idea what I wanted most of these people to do. I do know that I need them to be able to wear suits more effectively, and a bunch of them were not able to wear suits. And uh, now they can wear suits, except some of them are getting a little sad, which we don't love. Uh, why are some of you sad? Turner, you're so pleased with life. Could you all be like Turner, please? Turner is just so happy to be here. Um, everybody else... Why? Why do you complain? Why don't you love me the way that you should as your overlord and master? They disappoint me sometimes, I swear. I swear. Alright, so food as well seems to be, you know, relatively balanced. Somehow we still have, um, muckroot. I don't even know what that is. Unless that's what I just got from the thingy. I don't know, I don't pay attention anymore. We still have meal ice. We still have spindly grown fruit, spicy tofu. So we got a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, that's a little bit bad. Carbon dioxide, I really need to... Uh, I would really like to shoot the carbon dioxide straight out of here. But you know what? It's not sneaking into the base very much. So I'm quite pleased about that. And the, hy the hydrogen gas is also being burned off pretty well, too. I mean... There's a little bit of a mix in the base, but nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing I can't handle. Uh, when I rip into there, the hydrogen situation will change a little bit. I might actually put a hydrogen catcher here instead. That might be what I have to do. Anyway, all right. They need to build this up. Are they doing it? I think some of those... Okay. <laughs> Some of those they might actually have some problem with, I'm thinking. So let me just put this in place now, just in case they do. Um, tungsten also, just a very important thing to sweep up there as well. I don't want to close it in there. We need to be careful with that. And then, you know, I think probably the next step... Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, there's something right there. A saltwater geyser. Okay, so here's the other thing. Refinement. Let's talk about refinement for a second. Desalinator. Remove salt from brine or salt water producing water. Colony achievement. Heh. Reach 365. Ah, oh, day 365. Look at that. I'm pleased. I mean, I didn't... I didn't notice I was that close, but I've never done that before, so go me. I'm sure I'm not nearly as far as I should be, but that's okay. Uh, this is all uh, this is all a work in progress, folks. It's all a work in progress. Um, desalinator, just back to that. Salt can be so interesting. It's just a hot thing that uses a little bit of power. That's not bad. So I could actually put one of those down here somewhere, refine all of that, and then pump it all out. That would be, would be my thought. You could set up, we could set up another um, steam turbine thing actually, and cool to specifically cool this water and cool the salt brine that ends up being brined up, and then throw it in 
the main water supply. Honestly, it's not a bad idea to just have two of them running. Except then I need more pipes going out. I need to double the width of this. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, we'll just let it do its thing for now. We'll just uh, have them do their thing. Uh, okay, so I think we are at the next step of the process. Let me just double check my imagery here. Make sure I've kind of got this set up. I think I do have it set up a little bit um, incorrectly. We'll solve that in a second. Yeah, okay, so here is how this is going to work now. We're going to close this off like this. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna deconstruct that at a nine, please. We're gonna close it off. It's a nice little, nice little tight room here, really small. But this is fine. This is good. Of course, they're sleeping, so they're not gonna get their tasks done. It's all right. It's fine. Can someone just explain to me how and why Steve is in this hole? Who did that? <laughs> like. Oh my goodness, they kill me. They're little fiends. Why were you in there, my guy? Okay, well, no, don't build that, you silly man. <laughs> okay. Wild. They are wild. Alright, I got a little bit of a pipeline set up. Um, that was actually much easier to build, and I think that's something to note about the... Uh, insulated liquid pipes. They're unnecessarily difficult difficult to build. Let me just get rid of that. Um, it's fine. Like, it makes sense. I get it. But what the hell. So, here's what's happening here. Um, I am taking the liquid down here, in case you couldn't tell. I'm taking the liquid down here and I'm going to just pump it right into our uh, water line system and it should go this way all the way in and dump it to here because I think the problem is that something is exposed now like polluted dirt or something and it is spreading and the out I don't I don't I think it's the polluted dirt and it's spreading food poisoning into the base and uh, yeah that kind of is annoying and I don't really want to deal with that I just that must be it I genuinely don't know that's so strange to me I've never seen food poisoning in oxygen before I, I don't know. We'll see if it dissipates by, by me dumping this extra liquid in there. Also, this liquid is hotter, so it might even kill some of that. I don't know. Anyway, it'll do its thing. All right, so back to this system. We're almost done, kind of, sort of, maybe-ish, um, if people don't fucking lock themselves in that hole like little assholes. Um, we're going to sit that up. And I will put them in a little bit of a fast forward. Now, the steam turbine doesn't matter what it's built out of, but uh, I'm fresh out of copper, and um, my options are tungsten or iron. So I think, for safety's sake, we're going to go with iron. <laughs> and the idea here is that uh, if there was room there was room it would it would it would go right here did I make an error must be built in unoccupied space that would be the ladder that is my problem somebody please remove that that would be grand resolve my problems alrighty so we remove the ladder look at us go go us steam turbine oh this needs plastic too and it's so funny that I only just have enough plastic to make it make it happen um okay we're gonna flip it around because I would have actually missed that, so I'm very glad I didn't. And uh, we're going to put it there, and then we're going to take what's left of our iron. <laughs> oh, good. It doesn't have to be refined. We're going to actually hook that into there. Okay. So a little bit of an issue um, that I didn't notice when I first did this. Um, I made a couple of mistakes. That's okay, though. We'll fix them. Just looking at the imagery. It's all right. Uh, number one, issue number one. Let's resolve them one at a time, and I'll go through them for you. Um, we need to take... What did I make this liquid radiant by? Tungsten. 
Ah, go tungsten. Very good. Uh, radiant pipe. Tungsten. And tungsten again. So that was one error. Okay. Error number two. Uh, this, no bueno. Um, this little pipe here needs to go down, which is fine. Uh, by one, yeah. Yes, good. And then we need to flip this down there and take you and dump you into there. Okay, good. That that part's fine. It's uh, it's now this, this the, the little issue. Okay, good. And uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess this is our solution. There is some idleness. You shouldn't be idle. You really shouldn't be idle, folks. Do do tasks. This should function. Insufficient resources. What the fuck's going on down here? <laughs> what the fuck is going on down here? What the hell? Did I suck up all this water? No, what's going on? Is anything happening? You're still going into that. You're doing your thing. You're pumping out juice. Everything's okay. Um, there is a lot of pressure down here. There is a lot of pressure down here. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I came down here for a little reason. And that reason is the polymer press, and the polymer press has no high power. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Um, also, I see that they're like bouncing up and down, and just do that, please. Somebody build that to make life easier. Fuck it. You're gonna go down here. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I need polymer for this. What a pain in my ass. I really don't need insulated tiles for this either, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh my god. So it's gonna produce steam, this is my problem, so... Might as well produce it down here, where I'm going to be putting... <laughs> gonna be putting, uh... Petroleum anyway. And it's not hooked up anywhere, so you know what? Oh, sweet, sweet heavens. You know, there's a lot that I do here that makes me absolutely lose my mind. This is one of those things, you know? You do one task, and then, sure enough, you don't have enough shit. <laughs> you don't have enough shit. And don't you dare build that out of lead. I will literally scream. Um, please make more iron. I beg of you. I need more. It makes me sad, but unfortunately, it's the reality of the situation. What? Oh, you're smiling. I thought she was wearing like a little face mask or something. Okay. Also, is the Jeremy's done? Are the Jeremy's done? I'll use proper English there. Um, because Jeremy's is a word. <laughs> I think that resolved the problem. I'm going on a limb and say yes. Don't really know exactly what the issue was. I have a sneaking suspicion, but uh, we are going to say that that did the trick. Okay, so that's running so that it has juice. So that you're fine. Uh, so we can make more iron so that I can do all the shit that needs iron over here uh, and carve my eyes out with a dull spoon. So let's just do that now. Come on, folks, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Of course, new printables are available as well, and we're going to take the food, because the food is good. Now, the carbon dioxide is getting a little bit concerning here, um, but we'll just live our lives the way it's meant to be lived. Oh, wow, those are all filling up with natural gas. Okie dokie, sure. Um, this, this does just produce, can I just, can we just talk about that? That produces... Nothing, right? Liquid intake pipe? Gas output pipe. Must expel gas. What do you... What do you expel? What do you expel? Do you expel natural gas? What do you expel? I'm going to assume... Oh, it's steam. Okay. That is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Everything is so complicated. <laughs> Just make sure it expels it on this side so that it drips back 
down into there, everything will be okay. All right, give me a gas pipe, insulated gas pipe, because why the fuck not? There you go, okay, are we satisfied? Somebody please tell me yes. Somebody please tell me yes. Okay, all right. Not exactly what I was expecting to do with my time, set that up, but hey, you know what? It's fine. So, yeah, I mean, half of it gets sent, that's okay. It'll go into this for now, and then I'll, I'll make the change after. Um, are you going to throw that in water? Or are you going to deposit it right in front? Looks like a little mix between a bird and a frog. Okay, are you... Where are you going to deposit that lovely chunk of... Okay, good. And then... It just turns... Right, like, what's, what's in the vent? Oh, that's fine. So, is anybody going to build this now? It would be really lovely if somebody could build that. That would make my day a little bit better. Or are you just all going to run around? Who's Aaron, is it? Requires learned skills. So, Camille is quite literally the only one who could do it. But Camille is busy doing a bunch of other shit. Camille, what are you doing exactly? Fabricated the oil refinery. Um, okay, fair enough. But uh, I'm actually just going to do that. Current errand. There you go. That's all that needed to be done. Make it current. And off you go. Also, are you still jumping down there? Or does that now count as a road sort of thing? Flat level. Better be flat. I should just build there too. That would make sense. Are you good? Are you satisfied? Yeah, it works well. Okay, good. So it saves a little bit of time. Okay. All inputs blocked. Not enough steam. Well, you know, it is what it is. So, has it been hooked up to the power line? Where is my heavy white wire? It has. It has. It has. Phenomenal. Okay. So, you're going to do whatever you want, by the way, because I don't give a singular shit. Um, and then... What else? Not enough steam. Yeah, steam. Yeah, all inputs blocked. All right, fair enough. Okay. All right. Moment of semi-truth. Plumbing. Insulated pipe. Set that up. Okay, good. Um, this is all powered, yes. Good. That doesn't need power, seemingly. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, let's snip this, actually. Snip. And we're going to snip down here for a second, because I have enough piping. We're going to attach that there, and then we're going to reattach this here. Now, the current temperature, just while we're on, we're on here, um, current temperature is 85 degrees, 82 degrees, 81 degrees. Okay, here we go. All right, folks, this is the moment of screams. Let's see it happen. 82, 81. Um, 69, there you go. And actually, realistically, what I should have done was just close the loop here and see what it does down below. Um, but see, so it's at 61, and then it brings... I don't know. I don't even know what the temperature is here. 80 something. It's reducing it a little bit, but that's not that's not the point, right? I want to see it reduce this. So it's 63, okay? You should be doing your business, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Uh, hopefully that can come down real quick. We're going to stomp it right here. We're actually just going to snip right away and see if we can cool the ever-living shit out of this line and see if it stops at the right temperature. So this liquid as well, just by the way, looking at the liquid, liquid is not high, but the thermal aquatuner is slowly increasing in temperature, yeah? Hardly increasing in temperature. Throw my aqua tuner, do better, get warm, god damn it. <laughs> it's not, it's not, um, 
running constantly enough. So anyways, what are we at? Beautiful. So now the stuff coming out is at 38. It's slowly going down. It will eventually kind of um, equalize out just because it's only going to cool the stuff that is um, above 35 degrees. So this is our this is a little sketchy cooling loop, you know. I'm pretty, I'm actually quite content with it. Um, the water, yeah, see the temperature of the aqua tuner is going up a little bit. There is the, you know, it's at four, that's good. Where's the four star? Oh yeah, okay, well, this needs to cool enough, but anyway. I think you get the general idea, right folks? Get the general idea. So the thought now would be to add a little bit more to the line. Um, and I'm gonna do that like this. We're gonna close this line off. We're going to attach it here. And I wanna see if it will go up. Will you go, you're gonna go backwards. Mm, 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 mm. Not exactly what I would have in mind, but fine. Nothing's gonna go up, okay. That's okay. It's fine for the time being. I just wanted to see if it worked, and it does. It works really well, actually. So, now it's time to put the full line to work. I will have to babysit the line. That is an important thing to note. We just need to babysit the line for a little bit um, as more liquid goes into it, and we throw it all up like that. And that's okay that we're feeding out of it. That's not a big deal. There you go. So those are now full um, drops. Perfect. So this line is doing a great job. Super pleased. Super duper pleased, obviously. Now we're dealing with... So let's, let's talk about this. This is at 50 degrees. Okay. And it will absorb, right? So, you know, we're talking it's at 49. Do, 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 do. I believe it was that one. And now it's at 54. So it is going to cool this area down quite a bit. And these are really the big issues that we're having, right? So once they're chilled out and resolved, we'll be in a much better place. Also, I need to... Ooh, game. I need to quickly turn this off and allow that extra juice, those, those to drain. All right, there we go, folks. Now, this isn't oven running yet. We're gonna wait a few minutes, see if we can make it happen. See if we can make the steam start to evaporate. I don't know if we're gonna do it. We're, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I did run into a little bit of a problem, which is once I cut that off, it actually just completely stopped flowing. Um, but I have a solution. I do have a solution. We're going to put a liquid reservoir down. This will be our little bit of a, a solver here. Um, actually, what are you trying to build? Iron? That's fine. And then can I put two tiles down here? Okay. This I'm going to have them do relatively urgently so they get it done basically now. And what this is going to do, we're going to have the in right here, right? And then we'll have the out right here, and we'll do some snipping. Okay? We'll do some snipping, and it'll be glorious. What I'm going to do in the meantime is we're going to just take a little bit out, and I think that might solve some of the problem as well. There you go. It was filled too full. Okay, so that's fine. Glad we had a little bit of a solution uh, right, right before us, right in our hands there. Um, the only shitty thing about you know, feeding directly off this line is that it will eventually um, kind of screw us up a little bit. Oh, shoot. Actually, let me just uh, make sure that's just set up. It would eventually screw us up a little bit because we'll be consuming cold when we, we shouldn't be. Like, cold petroleum, but, you know, I, I think it's okay. I think we'll manage. See, yeah, I filled the line literally full. Now there's room. Now it's just running. So, you know, it's doing its job. The contents are not 
too, too cold yet. But um, the liquid is slowly heating up, as is the thermal aqua tuner, which I'm very pleased about. It was only at 69, now it's getting to 70, 73, and it's slowly, you see it kind of climbing up there. Now, obviously, you know, it's basically going to keep going around in a circle and doing the same sort of shenanigans. Um, this is a heat deletion process, so this will absorb the the heat basically delete it and pump it back into here and in theory the whole thing nothing should overheat in theory but we'll see we'll see if i break anything we'll see if i break the game but um very happy to see things cooling at the rate they are you know i'm talking nice also, you know, I'm wondering when this tutorial came out, because it came out a little while ago, if conduction panels were a thing. Um, you know, would it be better for me to just use conduction panels instead? Could be, could be fun. Could be fun. Um, and it might work better for this sort of stuff. Also, are you hearing the meteor showers? Huh. Wow. Well, that's that's that, you know? Very, very pleased. I This was actually very quick to put together. We came up with a couple of solutions. I mean, for the, the fill, but the liquid reservoir will stay here for now. And what we can do is fill it up and uh, dump it, basically, if we feel like we need to keep doing that. It would help keep this area cool as well on the outside. Now, look at that temperature. The temperature of 29 when the uh, surrounding tiles are 37-ish. So they are cooling this down too, and uh, they're absorbing some heat from over here, which is fantastic. I mean, it's not doing, you know, a terrible job. We're talking, it's going in at 25, 26, and it's coming back at 35, 36. So it's pulling 10 degrees out of this, which is really, really good, really, really crisp. Um, and I don't know if this is going down in temp. I feel like it must be. Yeah, see, look at it slowly going going down, right? Are you going to hit that zero? There you go. And then especially when it's idle, it's really absorbing that temp for sure. But even when it isn't idle, it's doing a good job as well. This is really absorbing all of the liquid that was uh, in there. Oh my gosh, much better. And our germ situation is not solved fully. <laughs> Maybe I need to lock this room up. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I mean, pretty good way to mark uh, our 29th episode. The, the episode that has dethroned Plan B Terraform. Pretty, pretty good way to mark it off with... Uh, a cooling system, a finally new and improved, new, beautiful cooling system that will service for quite a while. The old system did a really good job, but now we got this new system and it's gonna be great once we set up the piping, throw out a little bit more of the base, and uh, you know, once we've once we've got uh, that petroleum cooled down, once we've got the first room co cooled down in here, we'll be able to spread the love to the rest of the base, and it's going to be a good old-fashioned time. Now, if you folks did enjoy this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to leave any comments with tips, hints, or suggestions. And, uh, you know, letting me know how you feel about the series, how you feel about this little loop. If you can think of any improvements to loop, if I need to put in a second one, which, to be honest, I probably will do. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did. And I'll see you next time.